Coming to the plate now, Larry Doby. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. The 2 1. Lifted down the line and left. In there, a base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Takes this the other way to right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And the throw in gets away from him. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. The first baseman, Carlos. Here's Carlos Santana now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now the 2 1 pitch is in there for strike number two. Line towards center field. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's now three to Come one. Back. Hey, D. Well, I think we got a case right now. This team, they're just feasting on a pitcher that he's given up some runs, and it looks like he's starting to get a little bit tired, leaving some of these pitches up in the zone. Yeah, and I think there's a fight at the bat rack right now. Guys are licking their chops, knowing he's a little bit tired, going to leave stuff over the middle of the plate. Won't be surprised to see the bullpen get going. Now here comes the Royal Skipper up the stairs on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart after five and a third innings You're of work and with no shot to win the decision. The Zach Grinke enters to make Number an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Stepping in now, Jose Ramirez. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Count still at one and two. Three runs, five hits, no errors to this point for the Indians. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. That's Way cool. inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home. to short, hit hard. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d row and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. At the plate, Domingo Santana down the left field line and deep. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The 2-2 one more time. 
Hit on the ground out to short. To Sandberg at second. Over to Perez for a side retiring double play. Indians forced to settle for one. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Indians three and the Royals one. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next the dangerous power threat Ryan Braun. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say Up about that pitch that hasn't been said a million That's times good, already. That's Love just it. a real tough pitch for a hitter to Yo. pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. To the plate now, Robin Young. Oh. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Three and one to Robin Young. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. And he drops a change in on him there and that'll run it full three and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball and then he locked him up with a changeup. One run on three hits and no errors so far for the Royals. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Gary. Now that's his sixth strikeout Carter. of the series. They've really got him figured out. So now to the plate, Gary Carter down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Fouled away. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. A bouncer to the left side. Ramirez is there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Seventh inning coming up. The Indians on top, three to one. Riding into the box, Jordan Luplo, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Grinky, a native Floridian. He's a 17-year big league vet, so I think you could say he's just about seen it all. Yeah, and he's had to continue to evolve and adjust as a ball player. To stay in the league that long, 15 years, I can't begin. He's, he's on the short list. There's not many guys who make it a year, two years, maybe max. I would wonder what the average length is of guys in the big leagues. But to stay in this game 15 years screams to being a great teammate and being willing to constantly adjust. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. So a runner at first now with one away, and standing in is the veteran center fielder, Kenny Lofton. The 1-1. Liner towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. But they'll just get the one out here as the runner will get back safely at first. The bat. Digging in the switch hitter, Omar Vizquel. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Two out with the man at first. On he's waiting on the breaking ball there and sends it to deep right field. Looking up is the right fielder. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A 
A two run blast to straight away right field. Home run number nine on the year as they stretch the lead to 5 1. Hey, every once in a while, the speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description, but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. Into the box, Larry Doby. Fouled off. The one two misses ball two looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive that being very aggressive right now and good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt it's full now three and two now the payoff pitch home. Bouncer to the left side. Throw over to Perez will be in plenty of time, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, Indians get a couple of runs here on the strength of this two run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Indians five, and the Royals one. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in is the DH, Mickey Mantle. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Here now the 2-2. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as now he that, has in this series, the first you definitely man. want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to oh, first man. is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. Now at the play, Tony Perez. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Here it comes on one and one. Whoa, that's no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Seventh inning here in a 5-1 to one ball game. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Fouls this one off. The 2 2. Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The third base. One man foul. gone now for KC in the seventh. Yo. And up next, it'll Brett. be the Hall of Famer, George Brett. Runners on first with one down. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Going back is the center fielder. And get your groove on. It's into the party porch for a home run. George Brett scores a pair with that home run. Number 13 for him on the year, and it's a 5-3 game now. Man, you can see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it, and he might tell you he should have had it, but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches, folks. Into the box now, Gary Sheffield. 
And it's fouled away. Still only one out in the inning. Ball okay. three. Three and two now. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Hit well on the ground to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And there's out number two. Now, back. In now Ryan pick. Sandberg. He oh, was yeah. a ground out victim last time up. Sandberg. The 1 1. Hey. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Two out, nobody on. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. The Royals come up with a pair, however, on this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now a 5-3 ball game. So next, it'll be the four-hole hitter for the Tribe, Francisco Lindor. He'll start us off in the eighth. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Yep, Two and one. one. The Royals entered the day looking to wrap up a big series sweep, but it's going to take some late game heroics in order to make that a reality. Never easy to sweep any team, but this is a close one, and there's an old saying in baseball, a bloop and a blast, and if they can stay close, get a base hit, get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark, they're not out of this one yet. And for the opposition, wrapping this up and salvaging a win would at least make their trip out of here a little more pleasant. This could be just what the doctor ordered. Nobody Three, likes two. to get swept on the road, so winning this one could be big for building back team morale. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four this series. Fouled away. And he chased it in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first down. Now batting. The Digging in and looking for more. Carlos Santana singled home a run in his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Left side. Brett has it. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Okay. Stepping up to the plate, Jose Ramirez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. And now pitch on the way. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but... Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right, and I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 19th home run for him on the season, and it's now 6-3. to three. It's a three-run lead now, and that doesn't exactly slam the door shut on this thing, but it certainly closes it a little bit. The importance of each run is magnified the later you get in the game, and that bomb here in the eighth is big. Your Scott Barlow lead. will come on in now relief here and appear in game number 25 number on the year so far. Scott. 
Barlow. At the plate now, Domingo Santana. Hell and it's up to a 3-2 full count now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Braun is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. But the Indians add to their lead thanks to this solo home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Indians six and the Royals three. Dominic Leone is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Leading off the inning, Johnny Damon, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And the pitch on two and one. And he popped him up. Vizquel over to his right. Makes the play one away. And there are the, the final numbers number for the eight. Indian starter. Oh, and yeah. he'll be very happy with how Whoa. the day went. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. At the plate, Ryan Braun fouled off. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. 3-2 three pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Luplo is there. Two down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Robin Yount, two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Bases are empty here with two men out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Lofton is there. And that ends the inning. KC down in order. Can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Digging in once again, Jordan Luplo. He's one for two in the ball game. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Two and two. The Royals get some action in the bullpen going now as a left hander starts to throw. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. The catcher, number 55. Stepping up now, Roberto Perez. Perez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. Scooped up to Sandberg at second. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Now batter. Trying to pick things up Omar. where we left off. Omar Vizquel comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. A runner on first with two away. Throw over to the bag, and he'll be back in standing up. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. On the move.
is Lofton. Pitch misses low. The throw down is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Well, they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag. So they were onto him, but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance. Nice job of base running there. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. Indians leave one as they're unable to add to their 6-3 to three lead. Oliver Perez takes the ball now in inning number nine, now looking to close three. the door. Number 39, Oliver Perez. And the Hall of Fame catcher Gary Carter hits next. Not providing much out of the three hole in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Perez is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Luplo is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was hoping for up next one away. The so striding hitter. forward now, Mickey. Mickey Mantle. He's working Mantle. on a one for two game so far. The one two is laid off Mantle. for ball two. That is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Well, we've seen some now really that, good pitching from the these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice oh, effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Standing in now, Tony Perez. Two and one to the Royals' first baseman. The two one home. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. KC down to their final strike in this one. Too high. Ball three. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And that's going to put an end to this one. And the Indians have put an end to their four-game slide as this ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. Six to three, the final score today. Cleveland get their 30th win on the road so far this season. Mike Clevenger earned his ninth win of the year. Oliver Perez records the save, his 20th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game. For the victorious Cleveland Indians, six runs, nine hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For Kansas City, three runs, four hits, no errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 11 minutes.